Hello there lads, hope you're doing well and you're coping with the quarantine and in case you're not actually coping well with the quarantine, I have something for you. Today I want to share with you my knowledge of photography or at least the books I've been reading and studying about photography. I want to start with the probably staple book that everyone should read at least once in their life if they are interested in photography and it is Camera Lucida by Roland Barthes well at least it should be Camera Lucida by Roland Barthes you, you don't read Camera Lucida, I know that, you read Camera Chiara and the reason is it is the Italian version well some of these books are going to be Italian well not, not Italian but in Italian I don't need to explain the reason <laughs> But um, Camera Lucida is the book by Roland Barthes. If you don't know who is Roland Barthes, well, Google it. But Roland Barthes is one of the most important photographers, uh, philosophers, poets, theatrist, whatever you want to call him, from France, basically. And probably not the most important photographer, because it, it would probably be Cartier-Bresson. Uh, but it's one of them, one of the most important. And this book, which is known as Camera Lucida in English, well, it is the original title, or at least the English version of the title, you can search it up. I'm going probably to leave the title somewhere in this video. And Camera Lucida is a story, basically, um, about what is photography for Roland Barthes and is basically doing a sort of introduction for, to, to photography, to what it is in a philosophical way, and then give an example by telling a story about his mother, and, well, a picture of his mother. He's basically giving the definition of photography, and then, um, as a sort of uh, support to the definition, he brings the story of this picture and it is incredibly interesting I have a few notes on these pages to remember uh, some of his concepts, some of his well notions and I do highly recommend it if you never read anything about photography, start with this one the next two books are probably the second most important books you have to read if you are interested in photography and mainly in film photography and the history of photography and we're talking about these two lads well the first one the green one is Ansel Adams the film and you don't read film again you read Il Negativo because it is the Italian version um, it was a present from my parents during Christmas and so obviously I have the Italian version but you can find the English version on Amazon it is kind of I think it's actually not very expensive. The rigid version is quite expensive. It's probably around 60 euros or 50 pounds. And the not rigid version, which I can't remember how do you call it, I don't remember, uh, the flexible one, uh, is actually quite, quite cheap. You can buy it for 20 pounds or 30 euros, something like that. So highly recommend it. Um, who is Ansel Adams? Ansel Adams is probably the father of landscape photography and he is one of the most important photographers in history uh, regarding film photography obviously and the film is a perfect introduction to film photography especially um, black and white photography because Ansel Adams was basically into black and white landscape photography that's the only thing you see in this book is black and white so if you're looking for color film photography probably this is not the, per the perfect choice black and white and any notion about film you can find it in this book and it is perfect i've been studying it uh, during january i have many many <laughs> notes you can find I, I use these sort of stickies to remember of some of the notions well, it has an introduction to the structure of film filters zone system which is the system he used to uh, visualize the picture before taking it flash studio photography and developing the third one is a Italian book I'm sorry again um, this one I don't think you can actually find it uh, anywhere else unfortunately um, so the first two are normal books you can find anywhere 
This one is Walter Guadagnini, History of Photography. Um, this book is actually a university book from the University of Bologna, um, Faculty of Photography, obviously, and it's actually not faculty, it's more of a course of photography. And it is a perfect way to study history of photography. Um, I'm going to leave a title to another book, which is an English book, and it has been compared to this one. Um, I can't remember the title right now, uh, but it is a perfect second choice. So if you don't know Italian, go with the title that I'm going to leave here. If you're Italian and you're watching this video, thank you for being here. Um, buy this one. I'm, I'm, I'm serious. Like, Walter Guadagnini is an incredible teacher and this book is seriously gorgeous. Before getting to what I'm actually reading now nowadays during this quarantine, I want to give a small shout out to this book, which is this one. Um, it is known as The Olo of the End, and it is a collaboration between ha Harvey and Murphy. Uh, she Simus Murphy is a photographer and PJ Harvey is a poet. It is one of those books which have a collaboration between a poet and a photographer. The pictures in this book are coming from uh, some journeys of Murphy and especially from Kosovo, Afghanistan and Washington DC. So basically Murphy is comparing Washington DC, the suburbs of Washington DC to Afghanistan and Kosovo. If you don't know um, what, is going in, what is going on in these places, Afghanistan and Kosovo have, have been uh, war zones for basically the last 30 years and now we get to what I'm actually reading and what I'm supposed to be reading in the next few weeks. I am currently reading Susan Sontag on photography. It is known as the most important essay about photography. Susan Sontag on photography is the perfect book to, to read and study after you've been reading about the history of photography because she mentions many photographers and many events coming from the history of photography which you can't really pick up if you don't know about them so i highly suggest to first find a history book about uh, photography and then get to on photography it is incredibly interesting it is also a little bit heavy um i have to be honest uh i find this book quite difficult to like finish in a few days <laughs> I've been I've been reading this book basically 15 pages a day because every chapter is incredibly dense of notions and philosophical thought so mind that the next three books I don't actually have much to say because I didn't read them yet we start with August Sander face of our time this is not actually a real book this is more a sort of a small collection of pictures from face of our time. August Sander is one of the most important German photographers and his main masterpiece is, well, face of our time. Face of our time is a project. It was intended to basically represent the entire German society during the 20s and 30s and 40s or something like that. Um, unfortunately, because of Nazism, uh, like around 2,000 pictures has been lost or 3,000 pictures, maybe even more. No, I can't actually remember the right number. Um, but it is an incredible representation of German society during the 20s. Sander literally divided society into seven sections and these are all portraits. All portraits from these seven classes. The last two books are the ones I'm most looking forward to read and the first one is The Americans by Robert Frank uh, with a collaboration with Jack Kerouac. If you don't know who is Kerouac, again, he's a poet, one of the most important poets from the 1900s. And this is a collaboration, quite a famous book uh, by Robert Frank and basically a representation of the United States during the 50s, if I'm not wrong. Again, all black and white photography but yet, um, quite, I'm quite looking forward to uh, read the introduction by Kerouac and see these pictures. I didn't open this book yet because I don't want to like uh, watch the pictures before actually reading the introduction. So it's still here and looking forward to read it. 
and last but not least, Brasset and I in Paris, um, which is in French, pour l'amour de Paris. I don't speak French, I'm sorry. Um, so I'm looking forward to read and look at these pictures, and that's it, basically. Um, hope you like this video, hope you subscribe, hope you're going to read some of these books, because I highly, I highly recommend all of them, uh, mainly the first three, obviously, but highly recommend all of them, and let me know what you're actually reading during these days of quarantine. Um, a small note, I know most of these books are about black and white photo photography and the main reason is I decided to basically start with black and white uh, books first, black, well black and white photography books, um, but I'm, I've already ordered a few books about color photography and I'm going probably to talk about them in a few weeks. Anyway, hope you enjoyed this video, leave a like, subscribe, enjoy your life.